Let him be safe. Even if it breaks my heart, let him be safe. He should leave. Four years now, Ali Nabha always stood in the way of his son, Hassan. Every time he would mention moving overseas, but not anymore. Hassan was on his afternoon shift at work across the street from Beirut port on August 4th when the explosion occurred. My injuries are mainly in the left part of my face. My most harmful injury was at my eye. I can't see at my left eye till now. Uh, my face took about 400 stitches. Makram Zakur is another blast survivor. He also lost his left eye to the explosion and is still shocked he survived. So I had to be carried 17 floors down to the entrance of the building. And I was very fortunate. Otherwise, I won't be here. Professor George Sherfan has been treating dozens of patients who suffered eye injuries from the blast, mostly from shattered glass. And the glass is like a, like a knife. It cuts through and through. And many of them, we couldn't save the eye. With the economic crisis plaguing Lebanon and the Lebanese lira losing 80% of its value, Dr. Sherfan says treating patients is becoming much harder. The financial situation is draining us and it's preventing us from buying what we should buy. The basic things to continue treating the patients. Ali Nabha, who almost lost his son to the blast, says the deadly incident has changed them forever. We will never forget August the 4th. Despite it all, we thank God we were the lucky ones. My son is still alive and amongst us, but many other families were not so lucky. The Beirut port blast has left 400 people with eye injuries, many of them completely blind, while others were left with blurred vision. Then there are people who were so traumatized by the explosion, they are now desperate to leave Lebanon and move overseas. Altaf Ahmed, TRT World, Beirut.